What's up Team Boosted? Welcome to another video. We're back at it today with the Datsun and today's goal is to make it not a piece of shit. <laughs> Which means picking up where we left off and uh, we got some stuff in the mail that we're super fucking excited about. I'm sure you guys are going to love it too. Yeah, the stuff that came in the mail, we made this thing fast engine wise but then didn't do anything with the brakes or the drivetrain and uh, the stuff that came in the mail, like I just said, is going to remedy that situation. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get at it. Okay, so here's what we have planned for today. This is the Richmond 4 Plus 1. It's based off of the Doug Nash uh, 4 Plus 1. Um, only this one has synchros, so it's not quite as cool, but we'll be able to drive it on the street, which is good for our purposes because we don't want the Datsun to be just a drag car. Um, that's replacing the T5, which is next to it. You can see the comparison. Um, we're not exactly sure how that's gonna fit in the trans tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> With a bigger transmission comes bigger grabby shit. And uh, here we have the V8 spec um, stage three clutch next to the uh, four cylinder one. Because we have a V8 trans now, we get to use the V8 spec three, stage three, whatever the hell you want to call it, clutch, and the V8 uh, aluminum flywheel. Just an overall upgrade. Way grabbier. Way grabbier. Um, it's probably not necessary, but you know, we just want margins in here in case, in case one day we decide we don't care about this engine. We want it to let it go and uh, the most amount of power possible. So we're gonna pull this motor so we can try to mate it to this behemoth of a transmission and uh, let's get right into that. Okay, so it's about 2.30 now and because there's no uh, transmission actually attached to this engine, all we have to do is like disconnect a few hoses and I think we could pull the entire motor in like, what's a realistic, at like 20 minutes? Half an hour, yeah, we'll go for half an hour. Well, it's 301, so it's about 30 minutes. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what our main concern was, which is why we got this scatter shield, was that the input shaft, even though it's the right diameter at the end, it, it's a little bit shorter than the T5s by like, about an inch actually. So we got a scatter shield that's shorter by an inch. If you look at this adapter plate, you can't really see it well on camera, but the uh, the input shaft sticks slightly outside of the surface. And we think that this surrounds the crankshaft, which is where this needs to rest in the engine. We think it's the right length. The only thing that we're gonna need to do is index it so it's directly center, but it should all bolt together and be good to go, which is a good sign. The issue that we're gonna have is that that absolute massive piece is going to not fit into the trans tunnel so the solution at this point is going to be to move these motor mounts which aren't very good anyway probably about an inch forward okay so basically what we've found is that this is almost within spec but what you do if it's not completely center which it's, it's really not is you get uh, there's, there's like offset dowel pins that gets it perfectly center and then we also need this is what your um, throw bearing slides on, it's the bearing retainer. We need the Ford one of these. This is for not a Ford. So we just need to get that and get our Dell pins and then this entire thing should bolt up. This is gonna work. James behind me is talking about uh, the thing that I'm most excited about. It's a car that's just arrived. Devin's opening the door right now. Oh yeah, it's raining, which is weird. So. What year is it? I don't even know anything about it. I, I, I have no fucking idea what year it is. I think it's a 71. It might be a 71. Um, it's a registered chassis that basically, that's all it is right now. Our plan is to make like a like a tubular death cart, like just a roll cage. It's not really even gonna look like a Beetle when it's done. Um, I think just shooting the shit about it, we're going with some sort of mid-engine VR6 turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculousness. Um, we don't have a name for it too, so. I mean, we kind of threw around the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> T-U-R-D dash yeah, the turtle. So there's that. I'm really, there's going to be way more about that because I don't know. I can't, I can't get enough of it. You can't contain your excitement. No, I, I really can't. I talk about it every day. <laughs> 
All right, so we need some hardware for the adapter plate for the transmission. So JP just shot out to go to Marshalls to grab that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna start working on taking out the S13 suspension uh, so that we can get back up in there and finally patch up all those uh, welds that need to be done and start working on the fuel cell plumbing. So let's get at it. What do you got against that knee? <laughs> I don't know, man. There you go. Let's see. Sick. Yeah, buddy. Basically, this is what we've done to bolt up the S13 subframe. So right now we're just uh, finishing some patches. Uh, we'll probably do this from inside the car, but like right here in the frame, we're gonna wanna make a, a patch for that. Um, these new frame rails are pretty robust, and then this cell back here holds the fuel cell. So we're just gonna finish all of this, truck bed line, everything, go up, probably lower the car, uh, patch that up, and then we're gonna put in the fuel cell and then put the S13 subframe back on. Yeah, and do some plumbing before we put the subframe back on. Okay, so all the holes that we're gonna patch under the car are filled in. Um, we're gonna do like the big holes in the body from uh, inside the car. So right now, basically, we're just gonna undercoat the entire thing so we don't have any rust issues and uh, we'll be good to go. So this is something that we've always done before we do undercoating is uh, hit it with like a rust converter treatment thing, even if it's not rusty. Kind of turns the metal purple and from our experience, um, undercoat and paint doesn't really have any issue sticking to it and it's just an added layer of protection. It doesn't really rain in Southern California, but this is just something that we like to do, so. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of rust problems, but nothing compared to what we used to work on, but Massachusetts cars, you kind of have to do this. Real quick guys, product plug, it's from our store, not from a sponsor, it's BoostedShades.com. We've been doing that for quite a while. We spend virtually every dollar that you guys spend at Boosted Shades on uh, car parts, turbos, engines, our entire projects are funded with BoostedShades.com. So basically, if you guys like what you see here, head on over to BoostedShades.com. All of the funds go directly into the car, so if you want to support us, that's the best way to do it. Right now, we're doing free shipping in the U.S. for orders over 20 bucks. Let's get back to the video. Bonus content. New Porsche wheels have arrived. Let's let you guys see these. We're super pumped. Yeah, you should open a rear first because uh, they're fatter. fatter get, the, get the full thickness effect going. Thick boy. These are some thick boys. Oh man, dude, he did such a good job packaging. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't have taken this much care. Oh, ho, 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 thick. Damn. <laughs> it's so deep. So wide. <laughs> Holy shit. So these are going on the 911, which means the wide body is right around the corner. We have so many projects. Right? That is. I can take a, I can take a nap in there, dude. Right? <laughs> oh man, those are absurd. Fuck yeah. Bonus content! If this outro looks similar to the intro, it's because we filmed them right after one another. So, yep. we're gonna wrap this up right now. Um, I'm gonna take this off the stand, just give you guys a little... where we're leaving off today. We're gonna let the uh, rust treatment dry, so all this is going to be uh, set in stone for the S13 subframe to go back up. And then over here, we've ordered up the um, bearing retainer sleeve and uh, dowel pin. So we'll be able to put the transmission on the engine and then find out exactly how much smashing we're gonna have to do to this transmission tunnel to get the sucker to fit. So we're gonna get right into the questions and the giveaways. Uh, we give away stuff from BoostedShades.com every single video. Um, if you guys want to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video. Um, Devin's gonna pick the winner of this video's giveaway. Okay, this video's winner is Brayden Lehman. 
All right, hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com. You could also DM us on Instagram or uh, hit us up through Facebook Messenger. Yeah, let's call it right. How, however Any social media us. platform, and um, we'll get back to you, ship you a prize. If you guys want to win this one, like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, earlier in the video, we were mentioning names for the Death Beetle Project card <laughs> thing. James came up with the name Turtle. We love it. R-D, and we think it's fucking hilarious. But if you guys can come up with something better, leave that in the comments. That is this video's question. You don't need to answer that. You can comment whatever the hell you want. You're still eligible. Um, one last tidbit here. Also, if you guys want to send us beer, we are drinking some beer um, from Australia from the Smash Glass Brewing Company. All right, shout out to Ashley for sending this to us. He even named it Boosted American Wheat. And it is bomb. It's surprisingly really still bomb because we got these like midsummer and we drank one right away because we were super excited. But we've just been neglecting to put it in. We've been the neglecting, video. we got the shop and we got busy and everything. But yeah, if you guys want to send us beer, we're going to start doing a little beer review at the end of the video. We'll leave our address. Uh, you can ship us anything you want in the uh, description to the video, along with links to Boosted Shades and uh, other things. Yeah. But if you're in Australia, check out Smash Glass. Pretty bomb. That's going to do it for this one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.